You know, I really enjoy being able to put, you know, my artwork out in the community because I like to have an impact on my community and then be able to create spaces that are like healing and, you know, bring unity. I think that's why I've gravitated towards murals. Just to have, you know, color and, and vibrancy and, and make people want to come and, and, and get together and talk and communicate. But basically this concept, caterpillars turning into the cocoon and then turning into the butterflies um, represents the transition. And then the young lady represents the support and nurture of that transition. I had a lot of love, you know what I mean? Like my parents loved me, my grandparents loved me. Of course my mom, you know, always believed in education, but the environment I was in, you know, living in poverty, like I lived in Yesa Terrace, you know, you're trying to survive. I thought everybody went to the food bank, you know what I mean? I remember the day where I kind of realized it. We were on the bus, and we were coming from Woolworths, and I was being a bratty kid. You know, I wanted something, a toy or something. My mom, you know, she was crying and was explaining to me, like, she was like, I'll get you anything that you want, you know, if I could. You know, but toilet paper costs money, toothpaste costs money, the lights cost money. And from that day, I just knew that I had to figure out a way to make some money. Um, and, and that's where it begun. Like, you know, I sold cars, I fixed bikes, I had a window washing business. Whatever I knew people wanted to buy. Some of those things were illegal, it landed me in prison. As we know, the justice system can be unequal, just like all the rest of the other systems. I got 15 years, which is a lengthy sentence, but I used that time to better myself and to learn about myself, to educate myself. First day they let me go out of there, I came here. Yeah. And I've been back every day. My major in itself is IT network design and administration, right? We all know computers and technology, you know, are the industry now at bat. And I picked it because of that. So I'll be able to now help those organizations that I network with and participate in, you know, like prison advocacy and at-risk youth. And, and that will be a proud moment for me. And it's not just for me, you know, I'm gonna be honest, you know, I'm proud to be able to graduate because of all the people that supported me. From financial aid, to student support, to emergency funds, to um, workforce upstairs, scholarships definitely helped me pay my rent, pay for a bus pass, and I wouldn't have the security to know that my community cares, and that's important too. Everybody has been like so supportive. This is my home. I mean, period, you know? Um, this is my home and, and it'll always be that way.